When you think of going to the lake, visions of having fun with family and friends probably comes to mind. In the 1920s, a community developed in northeast Indiana for African Americans to vacation at the lake because other communities would not accept them. Today, that community still flourishes in Steuben County, and Wayne TV's Angelica Robinson takes us there. This is Wilson Drive, the main artery through the heart of Fox Lake, and it has a special place in the hearts of African-American Hoosiers. It's a dedication to Carl Wilson Sr. and his wife, who helped create a sanctuary of sorts for black people near and far. They say home is where the heart is, and along the banks of this hidden gym in Angola, the heart of these homes lies in their history. You know, every time we go there, we drive down Wilson Drive and Wilson is, is the family name, so that's very, I mean, you just feel like we're home. Kathy Carr's grandfather, Carl Wilson Sr., is the father of Fox Lake. He built the first of three cottages there in the late 1920s, a community born in an era of racism and segregation. Originally, there was, there was no other place, and African Americans were not welcome. But Fox Lake was different. Families could swim, fish, boat, and ride horses, a luxury only afforded to white and well-off black families at the time. Here was a secret around Fort Wayne that we don't know much about, primarily for African Americans go up to the lake. They came from Cincinnati, Detroit. You know, these are affluent people to, you know, to relax. Fox Lake landed a spot in the Negro Motorist Green Book, a travel guide created in the 1930s. It lists Marfran Motel as a place for lodging and Pryor's Country Place, a popular bed and breakfast. It sits vacant now on a large plot of land and recently made Indiana Landmark's 10 most endangered list. It has its own hidden history. Uh, supposedly there was a distillery during the time of prohibition uh, down towards the lake and the alcohol was pumped up to the house and they would invite people in there. Carol Karswasson grew up in Angola and now lives in a Fox Lake cottage. She remembers being told to avoid the area. It was an African-American community and growing up in the late 60s, 70s here, um, there was still kind of a off-limits, uh, I guess you would say, approach to it. In the early 90s, the demographic began to change. The first white family bought a home here, despite resistance from residents who wanted to preserve the black heritage. But there was perhaps no one more dedicated to preserving it than Carl Wilson Jr. Wilson and his wife Gloria bought a cottage overlooking the three original cottages built by his father. He became a historian of sorts. I mean, oh my goodness, like uh, he bought, of course, Tuskegee Airmen up there, the reenactment, he bought the Buffalo Soldiers, he bought uh, a lady who portrayed, I think it was Harry Tugman up there. Wilson died nearly eight years ago, but his legacy lives on in his children and grandchildren. They've made it their mission to share Fox Lake's hidden history with future generations. I think there's a perception that oftentimes African Americans did not go to the lake. It was just an experience. It was just a new experience and just one that you want your children to have like other children have. The Fox Lake Resort is on the National Register of Historic Places. There's about 100 homes in this community now. About 80% of them are still owned by African Americans. In the historic Fox Lake community, with this look at hidden history, I'm Angelica Robinson.